Hello, my name is Stéphane Persin from Fluke Networks and today I will present you how to analyze voice over IP traffic using the ClearSight Analyzer. For this purpose, I have just opened a capture file with one zip call I want to troubleshoot. So here we can see our zip, that there is one call, and by the way, that there is 15 issues. Here, I can see my issues, and basically what I see is that I have 40 occurrences where the mean opinion score during the call was detected as below 3, which is not a so good score. So I can directly jump to the application flow, but here is not relevant because I know I have only one zip call in my capture file. So let's drill down about this call. And we can see here, and that's also the application-centric approach of ClearSight Analyzer that allows that, I can see all my different protocols uh, gather into one single flow here, RTP and signalization, obviously. So here I can see all my conversation chart, including all the protocols, or I can just look at my RTP. And by the way, what I want first to do is to hear what the end user did actually experience. <laughs> Okay, no need to listen for the 59 seconds of the call because the three first seconds are enough to state that the quality was actually very bad. So let's now see more about the statistics and the key network and voice over IP performance metrics. One of the first thing I want to look at is obviously the MOS score. So let's look at the caller information and the callee information. And what I can see strangely enough is that the MOS score is not so bad, 3.66 and 4.05. How can this happen? Well, if you look a little bit more about these performance metrics, I can see that if there, are, there is consistency for the colleague perspective, it's not at all the case for the caller perspective who even experience 1.05 more score during the call, which is really, really bad. So let's look and focus on the caller and let's look at the underlying parameters that make this more score. First of all, I see that there is 1.22% of packet loss rate. But I also see that there is a huge cheater. 30 milliseconds may not appear as a huge amount of time, but if we consider voice over IP traffic, it is indeed. If you consider the service provider and what they are delivering today as a jitter SLA for voice over IP traffic to their customers, it's between 0 0.5 up to 2 milliseconds. So even if you take in account that your LAN can add more jitter to these SLAs from the service provider, 30 is still 15 times more. Okay, so we have identified our root cause for this very bad quality of the conversation. This is all about jitter. So what's the next step? Well, one of the next steps would be just to double check if my prioritization is implemented so that my voice over IP traffic is better considered by my network and by my active devices along the path from the caller to the colleague. And what I can see immediately here is that there is no prioritization implemented, at least at the location where I did my measurement. So one of the obvious way would be just to implement this prioritization. If we assume that there were some prioritization implemented, we could also consider, because we have a jitter which is between 0 and 100 milliseconds, it's still possible not to fix the root cause but to fix the symptom. What I mean by that is that we could just raise the cheater buffer size of the end devices so that they are able to compensate this cheater to deliver a better quality. Thank you very much for your time and have a nice day.